So my name is Morgan Wong. Uh, my company is called Three Screens Marketing Advisors Limited, in which I am a co-founder and partner. Let's start with the customers. There are a lot of clients in Hong Kong, big and small, who have the budget but not the savvy to do digital marketing. All that means is how to sell better or make more money in the online space. So it's a very hot topic, but very few clients understand how to step into it or how to actually do it right. So we offer them a roadmap, we offer them a plan, we offer them a strategy, we offer them advice on how to get in here in an effective way that gives them return on investment. So, for example, we have clients in real estate who wonder you know, whether they should be doing a website, what should be on the website, uh, how to build the website, and what the cost is. So from scratch all the way to getting it done, we can give them that advice and make sure it's done and it's beautiful and it meets their business goals. The needs of the client, okay, some are very short term. They have a very focused project in mind that they want to get done now. So this may be anywhere from a few weeks to a few months. Maybe they want to build a website. Maybe they want to do some banner advertising. Very straightforward. They know what they want. On the other hand, you have more of the blank slate type. They say, hey, uh, give us a plan. We want to build an e-business. What should we do? So for those, uh, e-business is no, is no less an undertaking than normal business. It could be anywhere from a year's to two or three years plan. We have a very interesting breakdown of clientele, uh, and that's something I truly enjoy. It's one of the you know, things I've always felt blessed with with this company. Uh, half of our clients, I would say, are bigger blue chips. So, you know, big banks, big real estate companies, you know, big technology companies with established marketing divisions. So they come to us with very fixed goals in mind usually because they already have directions from above. On the other hand, we have quite a good number of clients that are small, smaller, local, and homegrown. I guess what you might call SMEs in Hong Kong. We're very famous for SMEs here. They make up most of the business landscape here. So SMEs are very varied. You know, we have a toy manufacturer, we have a client that sells organic luxury foods, um, so it, and they're really fun. The, the difference is that they are usually led by a small team of more entrepreneurial people, like ourselves, and they're more flexible, more fun, and very undefined. They really come to you with a blank slate and say, hey, what can we do? Let's work together on this. So that would be the main difference. Uh, some clients come to us with a large digital marketing division. Uh, one that has become very hard to manage and old-fashioned. Some are completely, it starts from zero, they have none. So both situations exist uh, in equal amounts. An example of a very interesting project I worked upon was, I could say it's two to three years long. Um, so I mentioned we have a toy manufacturer client. So they are vertically integrated. They own the factory and the brands based in Hong Kong. Uh, and their task was basically to us, we want to get into the online space, but we don't know how to. Um, tell us how we can do that and build the business in that space. So we said, you know, of course, you need, uh, you need your own store. You need the advertising to drive the traffic to it. You need, uh, of course, you need stuff like social media. Um, this is a given for any brand that wants to be talking. Uh, engaging in the online space. So um, we basically had almost a three-year plan to you know go from nothing and build them some you know platforms that are sustainable, that can grow, that can be optimized. Um, so today we are at the point where they have their own e-commerce store, um, they have a website of course, they have a very engaging social media platform, um, they have email programs, um, they are speaking to customers across the globe. Uh, where their products are is where we are. Uh, of course, this is ideal because we always see ourselves as having a hand in the business. We never treat it as, oh, it's just a project. I feel like that's the catch. A lot of people just treat work as work. We don't. We really treat it as, we want to see your business grow. We want to prove to you that it works because we believe in it ourselves. That's why we're doing it. 
A lot of industries require certain academic qualifications, maybe MBAs, maybe a Bachelor in Arts or the Sciences to fulfill. For me, the most important thing in what digital marketing is becoming is less your degree. It's more your attitude and how you think about work. I really don't look at CVs with that much importance. Uh, for me, it's when you sit down with the person and you get a feel of the attitude that they are approaching it with. Um, skill set is something I can teach. Attitude is not. So I think that pretty much sums up how I judge a, uh, an applicant or anyone I would want to work with. Language-wise, you know, because we're all about communication, you need to have English. Um, you need to have, I think you need to have at least one Asian language, you know, Chinese, maybe Cantonese. Um, I think these are all incredibly important and you will run into the situation where you need to use them and it will make a difference. When you get into the digital marketing industry, uh, it's still very tied to the traditional marketing and advertising industry. So you tend to begin at a junior level either on the suit side as an accounts person or perhaps on the creative side as an art director, for, for example. Uh, from there, you move up. You become either a creative director on the creative side or an account director on the account side. Um, and then from there, you either find that you're strong in one or the other and you become you know, the leader of an agency. You bring in business, you pitch, you win it, you sustain it, you understand the business. Um, I think it's similar to a lot of other industries. I don't think anything special there, except for the way that they're broken down into suits and creatives, which I personally disagree with. I think there is, that's a very old fashioned way of working. I've always been from the agency background, the advertising and marketing agency background. So I've worked for big names like Ogilvy and Razorfish. Uh, I've worked as a junior employee as well as someone senior who is actually setting up an office um, in a foreign country. So my last venture was actually helping an agency set up their office in Beijing, for example. So coming from that background, um, you know, at some point you want more. You want more challenges. You want more ownership of what you're doing. And you maybe have a vision of what you want to do. And so at that point, uh, whether you feel it's ready or not, you get the sense that you would like to do your own thing. Uh, we started in a very casual way almost. It was literally two guys who sat down, had the same sort of dreams and hopes, uh, challenges and, and things to gripe about. We had the same things we complained about. And we said, hey, let's just try. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't go as far as having a business plan because we didn't need investors. Uh, that was a nice thing. You can actually do what we do. Uh, and it's mostly brain work. Uh, it's who you are. As a consultant, that's very much how it is sometimes. It's who you are, and if it comes across effectively, you don't really need a business plan. Now, in terms of the offerings, that of course we have to think through. What are we actually offering? What do we tell clients when we give them that other people cannot? So that we had to do, and we spent a lot of time on that. When we first started, it was tough because there were not that many already signed clients that we could confidently say, okay, they're coming with us. We did have to put in quite a lot of work to get the first batch of clients that we you know, could work long term with. Um, yeah, I would say that yeah, you, maybe we had one coming with us, but that was by far uh, not enough to sustain the business. So we did have to do a fair amount of pitching uh, and so on and so forth. Over time, of course, uh, we've been very lucky, we've done well. And we basically, um, there's a lot of referral nowadays, so a lot less pitching in that sense of actually going to go out, you know, call contacts and stuff like that. And, you know, if you had told me three years ago you would learn this, I wouldn't believe you. But I've proven myself wrong. So it's, it's been wonderful. That's all I can say. It's been invaluable. As you gain more clients, as you gain more employees, uh, you begin to get into the same question that bigger companies do. You know, should we have uh, a bigger office space? Should we have formal meetings? Should we be more process driven? Um, and along with that, you know, revenue. You know, should we be forecasting here or there? I think the problem for us is there's too much hot stuff. 
you have to really pick the stuff that's practical that you actually can tackle and give it a try. Otherwise, you are just jumping in 10 directions at the same time, all the time, and that's no good. You're not focused.